Hi Church family, today is March the 3rd. Our scripture reading for today is Romans 3, 21 to 31. It says, But now apart from the law, the righteousness of God has been disclosed and is attested by the law and the prophets. The righteousness of God through the faith of Jesus Christ for all who believe. For there is no distinction since all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. They are now justified by His grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Jesus Christ, whom God put forward as a sacrifice of atonement by His blood, effective through faith. He did this to demonstrate His righteousness because in His divine forbearance He had passed over the sins previously committed. It was to demonstrate at the present time his own righteousness, so that he is righteous and he justifies the one who has the faith of Jesus. Then what becomes of boasting? It is excluded. Through what kind of law? That of works? No, rather through the law of faith. For we hold that a person is justified by faith apart from works prescribed by the law. Or is God the God of Jews only? Is he not the God of Gentiles also? Yes, of Gentiles also, since God is one, and he will justify the circumcised on the ground of faith, and the uncircumcised through that same faith. Do we then overthrow the law through this faith? By no means. On the contrary, we uphold the law. For the previous two and a half chapters in Romans, Paul is trying to get the people to understand that everyone, even themselves, have sinned and they can't save themselves. That's why they and we need God. He hasn't spent this long talking about how all, all have sinned just to tell them how bad they are. He's trying to clear away any assumption that they and we have it within ourselves to form our own spirituality. So he begins with the righteousness of God in verse 21. This word really means God setting things right with himself and his people. We know that this righteousness, this God setting things right, came through God in Christ. The details of this righteousness is still hard for us to comprehend. However, we get day after day to live a way of life where everything we are and everything we do is modeled after Christ and to let this righteousness be revealed in us and through us. Our Lenten challenge for today is to take some time to reflect on the ways God has set things right with you in the past, in your past. Then write down on a post-it note or an index card how you need God's righteousness to be revealed in your life right now, today. Carry that around with you today. Whenever you see it or feel it in your pocket, ask God to help you throw off whatever unrighteous behavior you're dealing with, and thank God for this grateful gift of setting things right with you. Let's pray. How blessed are we, Lord, that you would set things right with us through Christ. Thank you for loving us so deeply that you would be willing to do this for us. Amen. <laughs>